Cody Tyler did not get exposed for lying. Cody Tyler got exposed for showing text messages out of context. However, the text message... <laughs> Something that you're doing in this video. They're not text messages, but you're like, you're omitting things as you're reading it. Like you're literally doing that right now, Adam. <laughs> omitting context. It's like this is literally like his presence online right now is an omission of context. Omitting the fact that he was a fan of Colleen Bollinger and he was one of her mods and he asked for the underwear that he was sent. And this is underwear that was simply a prop. It wasn't like personal underwear that she wore. There's also, <clears throat> there was video online of him celebrating receiving this. So it's like <clears throat> really important context that he's wiped from the internet and he's just pretending that, you know, he was victimized, you know? What a liar. I don't know what this is about, but it's about where he's mentally at. Okay. I'm very intrigued. One, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am aware that I look... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube... Okay, he's not yelling anymore, which I really appreciate. YouTube channel. I am aware that I look crazy right now. And the reason for that is because I've been cleaning my apartment and I have been getting ready... Uh, for tomorrow because i'm hosting a little pre-game which i'm very excited about um tomorrow night me and my friends are going to the club it's this um annual not annual it's like monthly that's what i was supposed to say it's a monthly queer party and everyone that you know goes which can be a good or a bad thing depending on if everyone's getting along or fighting by the way beyonce has a cowboy hat on as well you can't even see this is just cowboy vibe for her album that just came out. <laughs> great love right um i've actually been going to bed pretty early recently so this is actually a late time for me it's uh probably 1 a.m i probably just finished listening to beyonce's new album and it is fucking insane um but yeah i've been going to bed super early because i've been waking up early the last maybe two weeks so i can take the girls to the beach at sunrise they've been loving that um anyway so this party tomorrow um is again the monthly one and the theme is like animal print so i'm gonna wear the trousers that i wore on my birthday remember i don't want to say my birthday so because that's a completely different meaning um it's like my, my leopard print shit and um i'm gonna wear the trousers of it and then i'm gonna wear like a black um either bodysuit or tank top or something uh, i'm very excited for that i love seeing my friends um and I also love hosting pre-games. Um, I don't love hosting parties, but I love host I've only hosted one party in my life. Um, and it was my 18th. Uh, four years that I was Gets there, the I point. only had a maximum. Not because, you know, all my big firsts happened to me in life or whatever while well, I was in that apartment. So I felt like it was my only safe space. Whereas my Manchester apartment and my new apartment in Brighton, I have been trying to have more people over. Whenever I moved to Manchester, I knew a couple people up there and I invited them around within the first couple days. And my friend was currently staying, or my friend was constantly staying around with me um, because I absolutely love her and she lives very close. So it was great to have her um, come over. But that was a big thing, like having people sleep. Should move to Birmingham. I've just started this calypso. It is fucking minging. Paradise punch lemonade. It is fucking minging. Suck your dad. It's minging. It's fucking minging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move to move to Brighton. I mean, Brighton. I mean, fucking Birmingham. <laughs> Leap over in my apartment, like, that are just my friends. Unheard of. Even um, when, like, wow, we're really jumping here. But to kind of open up a little bit more, um, I also didn't do hookups whenever I lived in that house, uh, that apartment, sorry. Because I didn't even like friends in my apartment, so I'm not bringing a date over or a hookup or anything. I think the only person in all my three or four years, there was only one guy that came back with me. And we had known each other for quite some time. Um, and all the other ones, I either went to theirs or I just didn't do anything because I just felt really protective of myself for the first couple of years of moving out. And I think because I didn't have my parents here to kind of direct me in the way that maybe I should go or whatever. I... It's hard being an internet bully. It really is. Can we move it along? the dogs uh, during the daytime, like really, really, really early in the morning uh, or um, going out and getting drunk. Uh, so, yeah, Manchester was a little bit... Um, different i definitely was in a depressive state whenever i lived there because i think back on the night i'm like wow i really was not leaving my apartment i really just was not doing daytime activities the only things i were doing was whenever i was drinking like i look back on that time period i'm where i'm at night and i'm like oh my god i've never woken up this early in my life before i've never gone to bed this late like i'm tired right now and it's fucking like what like 1 a.m or something like this is pathetic um i i've just been having a really good life balance recently and i think like it's very reflective uh, dynamics with people that i already had dynamics. i'm so glad that he's looking after his mental health that's great to hear he talks as if he's a small bean when he literally makes a living being a professional bully. 
yeah, it's, it's, it's odd. It's odd. And it's interesting that people say I'm bullying him, like, by criticizing him, you know? Because when this is literally what he does to other people, you know? Dynamics for um, and with, but they're just a little bit more developed now, and we're a lot older. We're, I mean, all of us are like four years older than when we first met, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, it's been really interesting. Um, where else am I at in my life? The move is, it's it's been stressful. It has been stressful. I also haven't done a lot. Like I need to go back to Manchester, and I haven't gone back to Manchester. Fuck me. I don't know. If Talk this about is it. A video, it's a very pivotal moment in my life, even though it wasn't that deep. Um, so quick, and it. I don't mean it in the way that people perceive it, but I can understand how it's perceived. It's happened to you know someone that I really looked at as a good friend. And kind of ruined that so i i was like okay i need to like not talk to people for a while in a romantic way or in a non-romantic way because clearly i need to wait until like someone can match my energy because you can very easily be <laughs> <laughs> good god matching energy with adam mcintyre i don't know if i want to go down that hole perceived as crazy or way too emotional or you know really kind of like reactive in a way um which are all things i am by the way um but when when i don't necessarily mean it in the way that i know that it's being perceived it's just like my deep 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 rooted like anxiety when it comes to like i feel like i have like kind of like an attachment style to like friends and stuff um so i think whenever that when i feel threatened by that i think i act in a way that is um incredibly destructive um towards myself um so anyway i kind of realized that this video is kind of a dub guys <laughs> it's not very interesting to listen to no i mean i was quite young and i remember how normally it even uh, bullies need to hash it out sometimes. I'm not sure if this is real fodder for a video. With who and your anything that deep, like. But I'm just saying. I just thought the pose was funny. <laughs> like I, yeah. I just with anyone in your life, like I just wouldn't imagine a world. We're having a little KK guys. Things or continue achieving. Oh, like I'm, come over to mine for dinner. To that's my vibe for tonight. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. All right. <clears throat> Todrick Cork defends Colleen Bollinger and calls me out. Interesting. Does he actually call out Adam McIntyre? It's pretty interesting. So, again, I think we can all agree that Colleen Bollinger is probably not in a great place right now um, in terms of her apology, quote unquote, video, um, that was very poorly received, <laughs> understatement. Um, by the end of the day, uh, Colleen is a human being, you know, and while a lot of the stuff she did and engaged in, um, can be perceived as pretty bad, pretty problematic, even though I don't like that word. Um, I think it's fair to say that um, if you look into the context, it's potentially understandable what she was doing, where she was coming from. Highly immature, very stupid, and not a good idea to discuss your personal life with your underage audience. Um, you know, even in the context of a joke or something like that. Hello, Ben. Hello, Dax. It's lovely to have you guys back. Um, I'm a lot more active on Discord, so if you have any video ideas, or if you would like me to cover anything, feel free to sh shoot it there, and I'll do my best. We can hash it out. But yes, um, Todrick Hall is defending his, her friend, or his friend. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's going to be interesting to see what this is about. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very, very, very well. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and on my video today. Okay, we're back for some... No problem. <laughs> no problem. Hello, cat. More BS, apparently. I have not made a video in relation to Colleen Ballinger in a very long time, and truth be told... Let's test that theory. Hi, everyone. Ah. <laughs> Colleen Ballinger. True to his word. He hasn't made one in a while. Two months ago. 
Colin Bollinger, the internal victim, unless there's one sooner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's today's video. All right. I was just like, he made one yesterday. People tag me in things all the time. People tag me in her podcast. People tag me in her videos that are about rocks. Now, y'all are getting some amazing content. She really took time off to really focus on uh, what amazing content she can pull out there. Um. Anyway, I, I just genuinely like haven't been. What's wrong with rocks, Adam? And what are you referring to when you say rocks? Could be really cool content. How to turn ugly rocks into crystals. Right, so she's doing craft. And today is going to be a not very edited vlog. These are mine and these are hers. Obviously, you tumble very nicely. So you can use any tumblers typically are really fast. Box weren't polishing because I was cleaning out my tumbler. The tumbler happened. Okay, so she's doing craft. Like the smoothness of your rock and Get your rocks it. off. Exactly, Ben. Like, it's a little complicated. It seems she's... Look, she's had a pretty traumatic time. At the end of the day, as much as you can hate Colleen Bollinger and dislike her and dislike what she's done, she's a human being at the end of the day, and getting cancelled is pretty traumatic. I had my own sort of version of this, very small scale, and it was not pleasant. So, you know, and that whole thing was because I took a step back and was like, with the whole, you know, Anision thing, I was like, hmm, wait a second, is any of this true? Like, even though I'd, you know, been criticizing Anision up for a long time until that point, I, I took a step back and went, wait, this isn't really ethical to say Anision is this when we don't have any proof. Um, and that's when I got cancelled. <laughs> so, um, it's actually what led me to doing what I do now. But, you know, criticizing T-channels. Because I realized that the audience that I was making those videos for, potentially, not, not everyone, but some of them were just psychotically against Greg or Anision, you know, and I came to understand that it's better just to follow my own um, sense of things in going to these discussions instead of like, just being like, he's guilty, you know? So, I don't know. At the end of the day, Colleen Bollinger is just a human being. You may not like her. You don't have to uh, watch her anymore. You don't have to do any th these things, but at the end of the day, Colleen's going to do what she needs to do to heal and uh, move on, you know? So I think it's great that she's doing like this sort of stuff. It's very healing. I want to see what they look like after. Favorite is super duper shiny polished, right? Yeah. Like you want like a super duper shine, just like super dupes shine town USA, right? But and they're pretty. What are other people saying? You are by my beautiful rock, Colleen. <laughs> tumbled and tumbled last year. There is some sort of sense of symbolism. No desire to tumble rocks, but I took this video so serious as if it was a class. The comments are quite positive. I mean, good for her. Like, why is this such a controversial thing? Like, that's such a cheap shot. Been in a place where I've felt the need to talk about things or felt the need to address things. Um, last summer, if I'm being honest with you, was a lot. And I was constantly talking about the topic. And I think at a certain stage, I just, I had said my piece. I had said everything I wanted to say, specifically at that time period. And I just kind of was like, all right, so... <laughs> I was like, all right, uh, my views are going down, so time to bring out Colleen again, I guess. Well, again, there's been different things here and there. <laughs>
air, specifically with Todrick Hall. I mean, famously, the greatest person on earth, actually. Um, with Todrick <laughs> Wait, what? Call, I, I remember I got tagged in something uh, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was a month or so ago, and Todrick Hall had done a performance, and uh, he was talking about uh, Colleen. Or, or talking loosely about a friend who had been cancelled or something and was talking about how amazing they are and everyone was tagging me in it. I was like, oh my god, Adam's gonna be so bothered by this. Here's the thing. Todrick Hall is quite honestly one of the worst people ever. Like, if you have Todrick Hall defending you, mm, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, Todrick Hall... Why is that? Why? What's wrong with Todrick Hall? On this rampage um, on Instagram comments talking about Colleen, talking about me, talking about the situation, talking about everyone that's been involved. Um, also, shout out to Becky, shout out to Oliver, hope you're doing well. Um, we haven't talked about this in a while, so I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, so we're going to read them, we're going to go through it. Um, I read a couple bits of the first paragraph of many paragraphs that he did. Um, we're going to dive into all of it. I knew that I was going to take my time to talk about this because again, Todrick Hall nor Colleen Ballinger is not really on my uh, to-do list or not really on my priority list anymore. Not on his priority list anymore. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Press X for doubt. <laughs> Um, so I just came at it from my own time. So I apologize. I know it's been a couple days since this happened, but um, everyone has been tagging me in this and we're going to get to it. But before that, I just want to let you know that Todrick Hall, again, famously one of the worst people ever. For <laughs> Why? What did Todrick do? What has Todrick done? We need to find out. Uh, Todrick Hall cancelled. Okay, he got cancelled. Why did he get cancelled? A timeline of Todrick Hall's scandals. Hi, besties. If you... Ew. Ew. <laughs> There's so much cancer on YouTube. It's like... Tell me. You know that I love drama and some excellent piping hot tea. There's been a lot of drama throughout the years with RuPaul's Drag Race's queens, judges, and everything in between. Today, though, I have some tea on frequent Drag Race guest judge and choreographer, Todrick Hall. Now for those of you who don't know Todrick outside of his roles on Drag Race, he's a very talented person. He was on American Idol Season 9 where he made it all of the way to the semifinals. After that, he started his career as a YouTube star where he became a very popular creator. He also spent some time on Broadway where he starred as Lola in Kinky Boots. He's also very close with Taylor Swift, whom he starred in her music videos and also worked closely with her. Recently, Things have blown up for Todrick, and not in a good way. This past winter, Todrick was cast on Celebrity Big Brother, where he barely made any friends but made a whole lot of enemies. Todrick seems to forget that he was being filmed 24-7 while in the Big Brother house and got caught on a hot mic many times. He said some awful things about his fellow house guests and really showed his true colors to everyone that was watching. He criticized NSYNC star Chris Kirkpatrick's parenting and was insensitive towards both Shanna Mokler and Lamar Odom. When they opened up to him, Oh dear, so he had opinions about awful people. Love. About the hard times they went through. He even Is that the guy from Queer Eye? <laughs> when they opened up to him... It is! It's the guy from Queer Eye. What's his name again? <laughs> about the hard times they went through. He even admitted to not personalizing his cameos for fans. Moment. What? And refused to do any prove myself to people who were never rooting for me to begin with but i do want to say to my fans that i will be commenting on my experience once the show is open because i feel you deserve it thanks to everyone who watched and supported me in the bb house it was the most difficult thing i've ever done but i'm glad i did it i am a human being a real one i'm not always nice not always kind nor have i ever claimed to be i'm very flawed i'm a work in progress but that's the beauty of being human i have made a ton of mistakes in my life and i will continue to make mistakes some publicly and some privately I thank you and each and every one of you who has stood beside me through those mistakes. Those of you who have loved and supported me even when it wasn't easy. Your loyalty to me and my team has been- Wow, it's almost like t reality TV is manufactured. Yeah. Like all this shit, like... With reality TV guys can say, as someone who's worked in the film and television industry, <laughs> Sorry, not, don't mean to like um, throw this out there, um, but decided to leave because it was toxic and decided to do my own thing. Um, sorry to like brag and everything, but I will tell you that reality TV 
is fake. It is fake. It is all fake. It is all scripted. In many cases, the prize money is not even real. Like, it's just, it's just your prize is being on the show. It's being cast in the show. So you get exposure and that sort of thing. I believe it's the same with Drag Race. If you really go into the nitty gritty, I don't think any of the prizes are real. That's my understanding of it. It may be different with some shows, but in the industry, mostly it's the prize money is not real. So you have to take that into account. And also a lot of things happen in reality TV that are coerced or scripted, you know? So people love drama and then they complain when they get drama. It's this weird, you know, edging. You know what I mean? Like, have you heard of edging before? Have you heard of edging before? <laughs> uh, so, sorry to burst your bubble if you're into reality TV, but a lot of it's fake. A lot of it's fake. An incredible, and tonight I'm going to be showering you mm. with every bit of love I have. Because without you all, I wouldn't be living out my truth on stage, representing my community the way you've allowed me to. I will address things in my own way and in my own time. Until then, thanks for the love, the kind words, the direct messages. It really meant so much to me. I love you, I love you, I love you all. And I can't wait to see you and meet you all on tour. Since his time on Big Brother, he's received so much backlash, many people are calling for Todrick's head. On top of that, it sparked a lot of others to come forward with stories about Todrick and how he has treated them and wronged them in the past. Isn't this racist, guys? Isn't this like, like, all these, you know, white tea channels going after a person of color? Isn't this racist? Isn't this funny how it's suddenly it's racist, suddenly it's not racist? Like, <laughs> like you have to sit back and realize and, and have a moment and think, gee, I'm canceling someone over a reality TV show. I should really think, rethink my priorities and, and think, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Ass. That being said, Tajik has a lot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> The voiceover is so obnoxious. Long list of complaints, that's for sure. And it stems further than some awful comments he made while he was on Big Brother. These accusations okay. go back years. Todrick's former assistant, Tommy McKissick, has been talking about Todrick being a horrible person for years. Tommy spoke with Insider where he spilled all of the details about Todrick. According to Tommy, he stopped... Oh, toxic people that you worked with are suddenly coming out of the woodwork, you know, to take the... That's the thing, these people always wait until the controversy to pile on. You know, they sit on, they sit on stuff. That's why Hollywood's so fake and I have no interest in like, like when I was young, I had this really, um, rose tinted view of Hollywood. And I was like, I'm going to move to Hollywood and I'm going to be an actor and all this sort of stuff. And then <laughs> like, can you imagine like, oh my God. Uh, not only do I not think I would have been successful because I was just too naive. Um, like, I don't think I necessarily grew up until like literally four years ago. <laughs> like, I don't think I actually became an adult. Um, I've been a child, you know, for, for most of my existence on earth. Why is he squealing for ex emphasis? Because it's fabulous, Whisper. That's why. You don't know what edging is. Don't, don't Google it. <laughs> don't Google it, Pixie. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, uh, Hollywood is full of fake people and they will take you down if it means they can get, you know, some exposure or something. It's just the nature of the biz. That's why I didn't want to be a part of it. Oh my God. I worked on, I worked on a music video um, for the crew. And, um, people in the, people in the film industry, um, I don't know how they are in Hollywood, but in Australia, they are the worst. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was specifically the collection of people that I was working with, but they were just the worst people. They really were. Um, I worked on a Evermore music video, um, <laughs> directly calling this person out. Um, it was the come to nothing music video. Where is it? Uh, come to nothing. So they filmed this in a burnt out house. Sinks 
So you get like an idea. It's like a kind of a, they're not a, not a bad band. Um, the drummer was probably the least friendly. I don't know. Maybe he was friendly, but he just didn't seem to be interested in interacting with anyone but the core people. Um, the lead singer was a nice dude. Um, but it was basically filmed in this burnt out house, basically. Um, and they were pretty big in the 2000s. So this came out 17 years ago. <laughs> 2006. Whew, God, I'm old. So I was working, I worked on this music video. I was spray painting like some of this stuff that you see in the background here. Oh, you remember the story? I Maybe I've told this story before. The ironing board lady. Yeah. So I spray painted an ironing board um, black because she was like, she came in and she was like, oh my God, I just want you to spray everything black. We need to really represent the decay that's going on. Like she sounded like Jamae, private school girl. <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, just spray paint everything black. And I did that, and then she's like, why did you spray paint my ironing board black? I'm like, because you told me to. So yeah, people in that film crew hated me, but it's fine. So I decided to, um, I decided to just, I don't know, do my own thing on YouTube instead. Go private, go independent. Make my own stuff. But my God... <laughs> Like, not, not people you would choose to be around. Oh, good memories. <laughs> kind of traumatic at the time, but I can laugh about it now. And I, I can say that I worked on a music video. I worked on a set in the studio. <laughs> Working with Todrick back in January. It was pretty nice, though, because they paid this family, like, 40k or something like in that region to film in their burnt out house, you know? So that was pretty nice of them. Doesn't replace the house, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe houses were different prices back in 2006. I don't know. 2019, when Todd <laughs> didn't reimburse him for two months worth of expenses. I see an ironing board and I want it painted black. <laughs> no color anymore. I want them to turn black. See, I was just living my Rolling Stones life. On top of that, Tommy went on a tweet spree even explaining how he was assaulted by one of Todrick's friends, Chester Lockhart. When okay, but like, why is that Todrick's fault? Tommy told Todrick about it. Todrick punished him for it and threatened to expose Tommy to everyone. It wasn't the first time that Todrick made threats against Tommy, as he often threatened Tommy's career and intimidated him in order to get Tommy to do things. I want to expose Todrick and Chester because they are men in power who have had a history of exploiting others for their own professional gain, Tommy told Insider. I was silenced for years based on intimidation and threats to my career. I no longer fear the repercussions of speaking out. But how do we know if any of this is true, right? Like, fair enough, you've had this experience, but why wait until he's having, like, a separate controversy in a Big Brother house? Tommy also exposed that Todrick often made anti-black statements, and it wasn't only Tommy that he failed to pay. It was basically anyone and everyone that... I mean, being black, isn't it his right to make anti-black statements? ever worked for him. Two more names that came forward to admit that they had never been paid were Travis Holcomb and his co-worker, DJ Josh Peace. Josh Peace DJ Todrick's Halloween Ball in 2018. According to Travis, he told Insider that he signed a contract that he would be paid within five days of the event. But that never happened. There were also a handful of queens at the party, such as Manila Luzon and Gottmik. But Manila claimed that she was never paid for hosting the party, even calling out Todrick in a tweet. It doesn't end there. A videographer named Maria- To be fair, play devil's advocate he may not have been aware that he had he hadn't paid he has people working for him so he may have been relying on them to pay these people and it just never happened so what you do is you just reach out to them in private how did they reach out in private and try to sort this out or did they just sit on it we haven't been paid it'll be fine a few years later i never got paid Maria Mendia also told Insider that she had problems when she worked with Todrick. God damn, I need to pee. Sorry, one sec. I was back. 
All right. She spent over a week following Tajik and recording him for his YouTube channel. And, of course, he failed to pay her too. She even claimed that she bought some equipment for filming, and not only was she not reimbursed for them, but Tajik and his team took them from her and never gave them back. She told Insider, I didn't make a big deal of this because I thought my payment was a weird case. I even paid for a microphone and some light that they were going to use. I paid for it, and they took both things with them. Another person also came forward with awful accusations about Todrick. Tom White, a choreographer that worked with Todrick, went on a tweet spree about what it was like working for him, which, spoiler alert, it wasn't a great experience at all. Tom took to Twitter where he accused Todrick of making a number of anti-black statements and once again failing to pay Tom and... Thank you, Maxwell. Yes, I did wash my hands. Thank you. Very, very good. Good, it's good to let me know. <laughs> and other dancers. Tom first appeared in Todrick's music video for Nails, Hair, Hips, Heels, where he wasn't paid. He was then asked to be in the FAG music video, where Todrick had made it known that he only wanted- The what video? <laughs> wanted light-skinned dancers in the video because this is looking a little too chocolate. Well, Tom was promised that this role in the new music video would be paid this time around. I mean, isn't he, like, doesn't he have the right to say all of this because he is a person of color? I don't know. When it was all said and done, Tom- he wants it to be diverse, right? Contacted Todrick multiple times for payment and received nothing in return. Todrick just Okay, so he did reach out multiple times. Decided that he wanted to set the record straight and responded to Tom's slew of tweets. He tweeted, My comment? I adore Tom. Like, love him. This is surprising to me. He hasn't been paid yet. He will be. Not because he's trying to expose me, but because he deserves it. I only got two texts, no calls. I was overseas opening my tour and that video has only been out for two weeks. Whether he was paid or not, I'm not exactly sure. And the same goes for the other four people who have worked with him and have had to fight to get the money that they so rightfully deserve. If it were just one single person claiming that they weren't paid, I could say that maybe this was a misunderstanding between them and Todrick that just had to be worked out. However, multiple people making the same claims about not receiving payment and working for free for Todrick seems to be a trend. Last but certainly not least, one of the worst accusations thus far is more recent and comes from another videographer that once... Yeah, I mean, if multiple people have come forward and said they haven't been paid, uh, that's pretty bad. We'll say. Worked for Todrick. This person named Jacob didn't release his full name, but he did take his full... Is that the same set that they use for Florence and the Machine? The King music video? Full name, but he right. did take his full yeah. story to Twitter. While his tweets are now protected, Jacob went into a lot of detail with his time working for Todrick while he was on tour with him back in 2018. According to Queer T, Jacob <laughs> claimed that Todrick would have never provided him- <laughs> There's a lot of gay shit happening on the screen right now. <laughs> what was that? Wait, there's like floating naked with people? Him back in 2018. <laughs> Uh, I'm gay, I can say that. According to Queer T, Jacob claimed that Todrick would have never provided him any sort of meals and even shared a picture of himself at the end of the tour where he looked dangerously thin and worn out. Like many other accusers, Jacob claimed that he was also not paid on time and he had to ask for his paychecks. He also claimed that he was forced to load in sets on each tour stop when they got to venues, which is obviously something videographers are not supposed to do. And it's a lot of hard and intensive labor. According to Queer T, Jacob claimed in his series of tweets that Todrick often played mind <laughs> games with the crew. And if anyone dared complain about him, Todrick would make an example out of them and would humiliate them. Jacob tweeted, I was too broke and embarrassed to go home and too paranoid to complain since I had seen others be made examples of in front of everyone. I barely told anyone about how horrible my time with him was because I didn't want to affect future work. He continued, I see his name in headlines and I think, should I tell my experience? Am I doing others a disservice by not shit talking the hell out of this maniac? And the answer is yes. I should be more vocal lest anyone else fall victim and anyone who defends him should be held more accountable. Todrick has always been made out to be someone who has worked hard from the ground up to get to where he is today. And while he's very talented, it seems like he took advantage of a lot of people along the way up. Taking all of these accusations into account, it's obvious that he uses people for whatever he needs, whether it's dancers, videographers, or any other type of performer, and when it's time to pay up, he goes ghost. While the industry is a cutthroat industry, not everyone is going to be nice, and that's something to be expected. For Todrick, though, there's a difference between being cutthroat and treating people horribly, refusing to pay them, and both physically and verbally doing them. As a fan of Drag Race, I'm certainly disappointed to see how Todrick acted in the Big Brother house, and I'm even more disturbed to hear that these accusations of how he has treated people that have worked for him and not paying them the money that they deserve. I think I can speak for many when I say that I'd rather not see Todrick come back as a judge or a choreographer on Drag Race until he
I, I, what what does he need to do before his life can continue? He is accountable for his actions and starts. Okay, when when is someone accountable for their actions in the eyes of the public, though? When does that occur? To treat people with more respect. Now that Tata We don't know if any of this is true. <laughs> like the not paying people on time, that's a big no no. And if that's true, then yes, big no no. So with that added context, is Todrick Hall a terrible person? Can we unanimously say that? Uh, I just want to let you know that Todrick Hall, again, famously one of the worst people ever. One of the worst people ever? <laughs> not Hitler. Not Stalin. Not Ming. <laughs> Todrick Hall. It's the worst. It's the famously one of the worst people ever. <laughs> well, hype. <clears throat> I think Mike should only talk about spice for now. Okay, no problem. For the list of things that he's done on his own. He's also been involved in things that Colleen got called out for, which I think is so ironic because, I mean, if you're defending Colleen, I mean, you're inherently, you have to. You need to be specific about those things because some of the things that Colleen got called out for are pretty serious. So, like, maybe don't just, like, <laughs> throw that out there and confuse people. Be specific about what he's done, Adam. Because you were also called out for things at the same time she was. Like, for example... The infamous clip of Todrick Hall and Colleen Ballinger making fun of um, a homeless woman, which has now been deleted, but I mean, I think the majority of the internet has seen it. Let's, let's just recap that again, right? Before we get into Todrick defending Colleen, because again, we're aware that Todrick was involved with things with Colleen, and let's do it. <laughs> There's someone we're disturbing their slumber. Guys, don't let this happen to you, okay? We're here. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. But does it make him the worst person ever? Joke. <laughs> It's 1.45, I think. Um, Todd, Nine minutes for the transfer. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. 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 We would like to say a special thank to Ryan Palmer. Yeah. So awesome. Who has to work at 9 in the morning. He was supposed to be here till midnight. Yeah. And he was so gracious to, like, stay here later with us and even buy us a Slurpee just so we could give um, more dramatic effect to this video. It was awesome. It was worth it. Go check out the video. All right. So... We're, we're aware of blippers. Um, we're aware that Todrick Hall was involved in quite possibly the worst Miranda content that was created other than just being a shitty person himself. Anyway, let's get to what Todrick Hall had to say. Very That's it. That's all we're covering, guys. <laughs> so the whole point of this is to um, change your opinion of Todrick so that you disagree with everything that he's going to say here but at the end of the day like bad people can be right about stuff <laughs> i know it's this arbitrary concept but what you're doing here adam is a massive straw man because you're saying bad person did bad things that means they are wrong about everything it's called a straw man very weak argument very excited about this um this tweet is from katie at can i see you and um it says todger call doubling tripling quadrupling down on his unwavering support for clean ballinger is so deeply embarrassing she's got one whole friend who's stuck around and it's the worst person anyone's ever met which is literally just todger call all right let's get it's the worst person anyone's ever met why are these guys so dramatic to them so um todrick had posted a photo of him and colleen in um broadway and a lot of people in the comments were like hello, like, let me ask the audience, like, why are you posting with that, um, like, era of your life when most other people have kind of distanced themselves from Colleen? Anyway, this is what Todrick had to say. I love her. Sue me. I don't agree with everything she's done. Well, I mean, you were also involved in a majority of it, so do you agree with what you've done? Anyway, um, I don't agree with... <laughs> what do you mean a majority of what she's done? Like, the old content? 
What? People made edgy content. Is Adam McIntyre a racist? <laughs> Apparently we can just say that. <laughs> with everything she's done. But I can't say that without anyone. Or, but I can't say that, you know, about everyone. So basically, he's saying that, you know, he can't agree with everything she's done the same way he can't agree with anything anyone else has done, which... Interesting. Um, okay, whatever. Moving on. Um, I am no longer interested in posting based on who's cancelled this week. Ironic, because mostly it's Todrick Hall that gets cancelled. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty consistent, I guess. Pretty consistent. What do you mean it's mostly Todrick Hall that gets cancelled? There's a diverse amount of content of you cancelling people on your channel. So, what are you talking about? Mostly it's Todrick Hall getting cancelled? That, that, that statement doesn't make sense. Um, I have known this woman for 15 years, and friendship is sticking with people you love through thick and thin. I mean, if my friends were called out for the shit that she had been called out for, or the shit that Todrick gets called out for, I kind of want to end that friendship, just on a moral level. Right, but they're not you, Adam. You know? People are complex, and, like, they they have dreams, and they have souls, and they're complex, and they make mistakes, and they actually do the wrong thing while being aware that they're doing the wrong thing. Like, people are four-dimensional Five dimensional in some cases, but we're presenting to presenting to people a culture where no one can make a mistake. You always have to be perfect in every single way. And if you make a mistake, you're dead. You're actually dead. You can't function in society. You don't deserve friends. Like, what is this? What? Where did this attitude come from? It's high school. It's a lack of maturity. Well, you guys can keep typing GRIMMER in all caps when you know that it implies something sexual when people read it, but I think that word is being used to make a complex human seem like she has only done one thing in her life. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Todrick goes, yes, she might have only done one thing in her life. Grimmed. But let's think about other things she might have done as well. I mean, did we establish that it was grooming? Or was it just ill-advised interactions with her underage fan base. Like, some of that shit was really bad, even within context. But is it fair to call it grooming? Really? Feel free, like, feel free to, like, I don't know. Adam never responds. He's such a gentleman. <laughs> but I'd love him to explain why it's grooming. He never does. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting. You guys can keep uh, typing grimmer um, because you know that it implies something sexual when people read it. I mean, that's not literally what grooming means. I mean, grooming is so broad. And I think that a majority of the definitions of grooming, actually the main one, I think your BFF actually did. So I think the majority of people would agree with. How though? Explain, Adam that probably including her and you um anyway um so i'll put a i'll put a sentence in all caps for you shady the best whoa shady the bits heist in houston i'm deceased this is coming from someone who asked colleen bollinger for underwear from one of her videos which was prop by the way received it celebrated get receiving it has since deleted the, all this footage from the internet. Also celebrated Shane Dawson. Celebrated him. All that footage is missing. I'm, I'm annoyed because Mysterious did like a fantastic video on this. And for some reason it's gone from her channel. But it was, uh, it was very eye-opening to see all this footage of Adam being a completely different person in one context and then pretending he was someone else <clears throat> with different standards. Why is he smiling while talking about accusations of grooming? Yeah, because that means a payday for him. He loves exploiting these types of topics. Dr. Call, no one, I'm not going to scream it because I'll blow my mic up. No one should be defined as a human by only their worst moments. No one would have to live up to that standard or would want to be. No one. What do you mean by this? No one should be defined as a human by their worst moments. Moments, because he knows that there's many. Um, no one would want to live up to that standard. What? Live up to the standard of being a grimmer? 
Yeah, I, Todrick, I, I'm aware that, again, uh, you're very morally corrupt yourself, but I don't think... You're morally corrupt, Adam. Like, he always speaks from this, like, high place when he's an incredibly manipulative individual himself. Incredibly manipulative. To misdirect your audience, you know, and pretend that you're one person when you've actually defended all these people and been fans of them. And you waited for the opportune time and you uh, threw them all under the bus. So you're a fan of this content up until you could get something out of it. I think the majority of people, you know, aspire to live up to the standard of being a grimmer, but that might just be me. That's not necessarily something I'm striving for. Clearly it's something you're striving for and clearly it's something that your good friend achieved. I love her, always will, nothing personal towards you, but if people don't like that, then they can unfollow. Sorry, not sorry. Our friendship is too real to me to pretend on social media. I truly feel for the people affected by the situation, but I'm not going to pretend we're not still friends. Trust me, it's in the moments like these when you need friends the most. She's already lost so much. She's a human being. How long should she be in timeout before she's allowed redemption? What, the emancipation of Colleen, like the Mariah Carey, the emancipation of Mimi? Todrick, I'm aware that you have done so many bad things that you're constantly wanting a redemption arc for yourself. You don't have to wish it for everyone, specifically when they've done so many creepy things with kids. Anyway. It's not your call to make, Adam. It's not your call and it's not your friendship. And considering the people that you surround yourself with and call them, call you, call them friends, you've got a very horrible surprise waiting for you. I can't, like, I, there's going to be, because you attract this energy, right? And I found out the hard way. When you attract this type of energy to you, these types of people will betray you. They can't be trusted. So when you put this energy out into the world constantly, it will come back to you tenfold. When you do the wrong thing, what was the old thing I said? Karma always wins. It always wins. It always comes back. Hey, moving along, there's more. So. Now Todrick is talking about, um, I assume, me. We watched his videos. Still not of a... <laughs> okay, this one's crazy. We watched his videos. Still not enough of a reason to s disown my friend and not love her. Ooh, Todrick. The ever so... The ever so moral, like... <laughs> how the morally corrupt Todrick Hall. We watched his videos. Morally corrupt. Everyone's morally corrupt. What are you talking about? The morally corrupt Todrick Hall. I think I need my, I think I need my cap for this. Can I even wear it with headphones on? Okay. Morally corrupt. Still not enough of a reason that I wouldn't love her or just want to be her best friend. Okay. It's funny so many people claim to be Christian. What? It's funny so many people claim to be Christians, but I'm not one. Okay. That's fine. Um, but I did go to church long enough to know that even Jesus forgave sinners, murderers, and criminals. So what we're hearing is Jesus Christ is a Murfanda. Jesus Christ, you know whenever she was doing those shows, Jesus Christ was at Barrier. He never missed a Miranda Singh show. When that Netflix, you know, movie came out, fuck, 8.01 a.m., he was watching it. Jesus Christ is a Murfanda. That's what we're hearing. Interesting. It's like, sure, you can be... I, I'm not wearing this. Um, I'm not sure about bringing religion into it. <laughs> Because, like, I don't know about that. Because <coughs> not everyone believes in Jesus, so, you're like, saying that is just kind of like... <laughs> what would Jesus do? I don't know. He's just... I, I, I don't know. I, I Jesus, you know? <laughs> so that is kind of a weak argument from Todrick. Um, we are not the people who should be judging. <clears throat> 
I mean, I'm going to judge someone if they do creepy things with kids. I'm going to be honest with you. But again, Podrick, not really the most, you know, morally. It's only creepy if you twist the context of it. And I will agree. Some of the stuff, if you just look at it at face value with Colleen, it's incredibly creepy. So yeah, massive payday for Adam. Clap, clap. But, you know, if you can look at it sensibly, you know, it becomes a bit more difficult in that in that regard. But, you know, I just think she was very stupid with some of her decisions in the same way that Michael Jackson was really stupid with some of his decisions, you know. And obviously the, the debate is still out. I still listen to Michael Jackson. I still appreciate his art. But obviously there's a lot of side-eyeing side eye going on at the same time where I'm just like, you know. Hmm. There's some questionable decisions made, you know. And I think if you are a sensible person, you you can look at that, that whole thing and just be like... And that's the thing. It's the same thing with Colleen. Just some very unwise decisions were made, you know? But, uh, yeah. yes. There is nothing you can say to make me not love and support my friend. Nothing. That's not what friendship means to me. I have an uncle who went to jail for murder. Uh, okay. This part's really weird. Okay, the morally corrupt touch of call. Why is it why is it weird? He's conveying his point from his own life experience. Why is that weird, Adam? Um where is it? I have an uncle who went to jail for murder, an actual horrific crime. Do I condone what he did? Absolutely not. Do I still love him and allow him to sit at my table at Christmas and uh, gatherings? Absolutely forever and always. <laughs> See, such a strange concept, isn't it? Family is family. There are some people that you will do that for. And that is just a normal part of life. Some of your family members are messed up. Some of your family members do the wrong thing. But they're still family at the end of the day. And you can write them off and, you know, tell them that they're terrible people. <laughs> but at the end of the day, does that help them? You know? <laughs> like, <coughs> if this family member is reformed, you know, and he's gone through the, the legal system which it very clearly has, if everyone knows about it. You know? It's very wrong, obviously, that he took a life. But at the end of the day, he is a human being. And he doesn't just stop existing the moment that he does the wrong thing. That's the thing, like, uh, humanity is a complex topic, and I don't think that Adam is adequately equipped with life experience to deal with it, you know? Todrick Hall's like, yes, Colleen Ballinger is a grimmer. But my uncle's a murderer! <laughs> Guys, why aren't you focusing on the fact my uncle's a murderer? And I love him! <laughs> He's using it as an example, Adam. So that he can convey his perspective and where he's coming from. I don't know. Establishing, you know, your point of view. Establishing why you have it. Something that you're not very well versed in, Adam. <laughs> I don't know why this is such a complex topic. I mean, I'm Beyonce in this scenario. Look at her face. I understand. I understand, Queen Bee. I, I feel exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. We are all humans, every one of us. Let's stop trying to paint people as monsters because she's absolutely not. She's an incredible human who's done so much for other people, including Grimm. But, you know, she has done a lot for people. Most of that being bad things, but okay. Including myself in a time of need. I'll never turn my back on someone like that. There's more. All right. Oh, there's actually two more. This is what I'm saying. Todrick Hall has the time to do this because nobody's booking Todrick Hall for things. You bringing up these extreme examples is a tad dramatic. What are you talking about? He books himself. He's a recording artist. <laughs> what are you doing, Adam? <laughs> Matic. Might as well. Th yes, this one's good. This one's good. You ready? So we have Todrick Hall Knight relating Colleen Ballinger to Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Samples Wait is a tad a dramatic. Might as well. Th yes, this one's good. This one's good. You ready? So we have Todrick Hall Knight relating Colleen Ballinger to Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler. <laughs> yeah, but like, let's actually read the context. Might as well throw Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler in, in while you're at it. My point is, yes, I still truly think that all people, even murderers, still should be given the opportunity for redemption. Yeah. Absolutely. While I do not subscribe to the Christian religion, um, the only thing that I wouldn't put in that category is uh, diddlers. There is no redemption arc for you at all for diddlers. Oh dear. And it's like, yes, you could call Colleen a diddler, but is she really though? When you look at the context of everything. Did she just really make some really stupid decisions? Okay. You bringing up these examples is a tad dramatic. You may as well throw Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler in while you're at it. <laughs> Don't really know how to respond to that one. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Here we have. I do. I just said it. <laughs> I mean... Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler, I don't know about that. <laughs> Hitler specifically. I mean, these people are actual monsters. So, I don't know. Oh, that is a confusing point. Bringing up these extreme examples is a tad dramatic. Might as well throw Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler in while you're at it. My point is, yes, I still truly think that all people, even murderers, still should be given the opportunity for redemption. Yeah. I'm not a Donald Trump fan by any means, but I wouldn't treat him horribly if I met him. And I do still think he deserves for people who loved him before he was president to love him now. I mean, that's a very, a very brave thing to say <laughs> because people are not going to like that. People don't think in nuance anymore. They don't know what he's saying. It makes logical sense, you know? But Adam's not going to interpret it that way at all. He's going to interpret interpret this as Tartar Cole loves Trump. <laughs> That's how he's going to interpret it. I, I bet you anything. Uh, Tartar Cole relating Colleen Ballinger to Hitler. <laughs> her best friend is like, if you're going to talk about her, let's also talk about Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler. <laughs> oh my God. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazier than her. I'm a Christian, uh, Pixie. I get, uh, I'm a Christian. I get looks like, like I'm a heathen now from how I dress all the time. Everyone views things differently. Yeah. Perspective is really important. Nuance is really important. <coughs> God damn. Nuance is dead. You're either with us or against us now. Yeah. Nuance is very dead. Oh my God. It's like two delusional bitches just sitting talking with each other. These people are crazy. My point is, what is your point, Tom? It's like, it's interesting how um, if you have certain opinions and that sort of thing, you are labeled as crazy. Because that's what we would call gaslighting, Adam. Roderick, yes, I still truly think that all people, even murderers, and also Jeffrey Dahmer er, and Hitler, because this was brought up, <laughs> should still be... That's really poorly written. Can I just say, on Todrick's part, I understand what he's saying, but it can be so easily misconstrued, and that's what Adam is doing. Like, obviously, he's hit pay dirt. He's just like, oh my god. Given redemption. From Todrick's Hall, Todrick Hall's mouth, he has just related Colleen Ballinger, his best friend, to Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler, and then also said, Colleen should get a redemption, but I also agree that Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler should. He's fucking crazy. He's crazy. There's no way for me to like, again, my attitude with this is in such a different place than it was in summer. I just have like a, I don't give a fuck attitude. That's a really poorly written thing. And my God, why, where, were, where was his team? He might not have paid them. <laughs> oh, fuck. Someone should have definitely 
like proofread what he was writing out. Like, cause I know what he's saying, but at the same time, it's probably the worst way you can convey it. Should, like, I really like these people. Cause people like this are gonna misconstrue it and misrepresent it. Nothing to me. Oh my God. But, and so like, I, I can't even sit here and just like do an extreme reaction to you because we have Colleen Ballinger's best friend saying that Hitler deserves a redemption. Oh, oh, it goes on. I am not a Donald Trump fan by any means. Okay. But I wouldn't treat him horribly if I met him. And I still think he, uh, what? I still think he deserves for people to love him. After all, he's a human being. Okay. So Jeffrey Dahmer, Hitler, Colleen Ballinger, Donald Trump. Dream blunt er, rotation from Todd. I knew it. Call apparently. <laughs> Fuck me. If you feel differently, that's fine. But it is my opinion, unpopular or not. Unpop he omitted part of that. He admitted part of that. No, or not. You just said that Hitler deserves a redemption arc. If you feel differently, that's fine. I fucking hope the majority of people would feel different to that. Okay, it goes on. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> that's not the only definition of grooming, but I do think that that's what it implies. <laughs> the voice gets... Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking hope the majority of people would feel different to that. Okay, it goes on. <laughs> There's more. That's not the only definition of grooming, but I do think that that's what it implies, which is why I don't like the term. He's omitting things here. So uh, isn't it great that we can read it? It's on screen, but he's like omitted like heaps of context in that. It's like calling someone who sells weed a drug dealer. I'm like, <clears throat> sure, but it's weed. This is really poorly written. Fuck. Fuck. Calling someone who sells weed a drug dealer. I'm sure, yeah, but it's weed. It's legal in a lot of places. And it's, in my opinion, it's not the same as selling crap. Crack. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. See, this is the thing. Like, we have to be, uh, we have to be neutral to a degree. And I can't just disagree with Adam because it's like, woo, it's popular to disagree with Adam. You know, um, that is Terribly written. Holy shit. <laughs> That's not the only definition of grooming, but I do think it's what it implies, which is why I don't like the term. It's like calling someone who sells weed a drug dealer. So is he saying like grooming is legal some places, so it's totally fine? Is that what he's saying? I hope that's not what he's saying. What the fuck, Todrick? These are going over my head. Let's go on to the final one. People always say that they want celebs and influencers to take a kind of... This has one like, by the way, in five hours. Yeah, people were not loving this. People always say they want celebrities and influencers to take a kind of ability. She has, and it's not good enough. Are you saying it's not good enough? Because we said it's not good. Are you agreeing with us that it's not good enough? She's apologized, but people... Yeah, well, what else is she supposed to do here? Like, what else is she supposed to do to apologize? She's apologized. I mean, her apology was pretty bad. <laughs> Her apology was pretty bad. So maybe, maybe a better, better apology? People still want more. Instead of doubling down? Or, mm, how does that song go? Do, 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 That's not apologizing, dipshit. But also, I think the majority of people just don't care about her anymore. Let's look at, like, how many subscribers and how many views she gets. People have woken up. And also, judging by how little work you get, people have also woken up to you. Hope to see you this year at Brighton Pride, Todrick, if you do. I live back here again. Give me a message. Let's 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 do a podcast together. Let's have a let's have a conversation. Mm. You don't have the balls, mate. Have you noticed that Adam would never be in the same room with the people that he criticizes? He would never do that because he's a coward. I think that's what he's saying too. I think he's saying people are called calling things grooming that aren't. Yeah. Yeah. I understood that. I understood the point he was trying to make. It was just so badly written. Holy shit. Todrick is coming off as a middle schooler defending their BFF. Yeah, he just needs... He needed someone to proofread what he was writing and successfully convey what he was saying because he's not good at conveying what he's saying at all. Like, I understand what he's saying, but it sounds so bad. 
We also live in a culture where the job of celebrity is just to apologize when people embellish stories. I think the majority of celebrities do things that need to be called out, so, I mean, that's just me, though. Two it is just, I mean, unfortunately, it's not just you, Adam. <laughs> two of her supposed victims... Ooh, I haven't read this part. Okay. Um, two of her supposed victims came out with these detailed stories of how horrible she was, only to find out they were straight lying. Okay, so I assume that this is Johnny and Cody. No, again, Johnny and Cody are fucking crazy! Oh my god, these people are crazy! I wish nothing but the worst for Johnny, Sylvester, and Cody, Tyler. God, you wish nothing but the worst for people that you've never met? Like, yeah, if you don't like them, that's great. Um... But at the end of the day, we just want people to be successful and happy and find their happiness. Even the assholes in the world, you know? Basic empathy. We just want people to do better and, and feel better and be, be an asset, you know, to the space. That's all we want. And we want the same for you, Adam. Because you're kind of a terrible person. <laughs> but I don't hate you. I don't hate you. And that's the difference between you and me, I guess. I haven't said those names in so long. They both, retrospectively in different areas, lied. However, they also told the truth on things. Uh, Bonnie, T that is not her name. Her name is not Bonnie Tyler. Her name is Cody Tyler. Cody Tyler did not get exposed for lying. Cody Tyler got exposed for showing text messages out of context. However, the text message... Something that you're doing in this video. They're not text messages, but you're like, you're omitting things as you're reading it. Like you're literally doing that right now, Adam. <laughs> omitting context. It's like, this is literally like his presence online right now is an omission of context. Omitting the fact that he was a fan of Colleen Bollinger and he was one of her mods. And he asked for the underwear that he was sent. And this is underwear that was simply a prop. It wasn't like personal underwear that she wore. There's also, <clears throat> there was video online of him celebrating receiving this. So it's like, <clears throat> really important context that he's wiped from the internet. And he's just pretending that, you know, he was victimized, you know? What a liar. Just opened everything up that Colleen was trying to take down a 17 year old and was actively working with someone to do that. Cody made the video. She said she was going to do it. That was her biggest crime. And by the way, if there's one Cody Tyler hater in this world, it's me. I'm not on her side. But what I. How do you actively hate people? It's so fucking weird. How do you ha actively hate anyone? It's such an odd perspective to have. I'm saying is the text message also revealed that this fucking loser, Colleen Ballinger, was in her DMs also you know, d discussing that this video was going to be made and stuff. So it also exposed that. Johnny lied about Josh. Johnny lied about Josh. And a lot of Johnny's stories with Colleen literally were the same as mine. Now, a lot of those things he didn't take from me, but also he showed proof of things as well that coincided with mine. So saying that they both lied, yeah, these two people are crazy in their own right. <laughs> but they also had truth to their stories, both of them. Right. Okay, well, that's a confusing statement. They're either crazy or they've got valid points. Convenient that we can extrapolate the parts of a person, the, the convenient parts. <clears throat> Hating people takes energy. Really does. Really does. I don't think I hate anyone that I've covered. It's a really important perspective to have. Like, you can disagree with their points. I disagree with Adam, you know, but I don't wish harm on him. Um, I want him to prosper and be better and do better at the end of the day. I don't hate anyone. It's such an odd perspective to have. Again, they're both crazy and they both embellished, lied, or told a narrative in a different way. However, when you strip back everything and you look at it, a lot of what they're saying when you kind of squint through their craziness is like, oh, they're telling the truth about things, which is the only reason in the first place they spoke up. Then they got ahead of themselves and acted crazy. Shout out Johnny, shout out Cody. Hope you're doing very well. Have not said either of your names in a very fucking long time. All right. 
It's fucked up that Johnny Kidd posted the things about Trisha, which were, by the way, undoubtedly wrong, but he conveniently didn't show, but they weren't. You know, Johnny was also sending stuff to Colleen, which is also what the conversation was originally about. Johnny is, is deranged, and we can call that out. But also with the Johnny Trisha thing, Colleen acknowledged to Trisha that she did do it. Colleen apologized to Trisha that she did do it. So that's inherently wrong, what Todrick is saying, because Colleen apologized for doing it, dipshit. Um, but he conveniently did <laughs> Just the attitude. So funny. It's fucked up that Johnny Kidd posted the things about Trisha, which were, by the way, undoubtedly wrong, but he conveniently didn't show, but they weren't. You know, Johnny was also sending stuff to Colleen, which is also what the conversation was originally about. Johnny is, is deranged, and we can call that out. But also with the Johnny Trisha thing, Colleen acknowledged to Trisha that she did do it. Colleen apologized to Trisha that she did do it. So that's inherently wrong, what Todrick is saying, because Colleen apologized for doing it, dipshit. <laughs> um, but he conveniently didn't show the things that he probably contributed he probably contributed to the conversations because we know gays like to gossip and do questionable things in their grip chats when they feel safe not only gays your creepy friend Colleen <laughs> I've definitely said things to people and I thought we were friends and they didn't look good when they came out we're aware Todrick you're an awful person y oh <laughs> it's really takes like the power out of calling someone else a terrible person when you yourself are a terrible person it's like things in their grip chats when they feel safe not only gays your creepy friend Colleen. <laughs> <I've de> <laughs> did you just say that gays are creepy like inadvertently hmm. definitely said things to people and i thought we were friends and they didn't look good when they came out we're aware todrick you're an awful person and if we're being totally honest we probably all have but you're not famous and no one's scrubbing through your phone or leaking your text dms through your phone or for cloy or talking about the skeletons in your closet because we all have them we all have skeletons in our closet most of our skeletons aren't grooming children though I think that's where we differ a little bit, Todrick, but it's good to know where your headspace is at. Would you be able to stand flat-footed, ten toes down, and say you've never done anything wrong in your... Todrick, we're not saying that we haven't done anything wrong. We're saying we haven't grimmed children. But I love knowing how much you're... Has it been established that that's what she was doing, though? Like, the fact that you're throwing around such a serious accusation, when it's clear there's a lot of evidence to the contrary. Like... We're defending this, saying a little bit of something about you, Todrick. Word on the street for a while about you anyway. All right, anyway. That's sick. Now he's implying that Todrick is a groomer? What the fuck? Children, though. I think that's where we differ a little bit, Todrick, but it's good to know where your headspace is at. Would you be able... Well, that's the whole thing he's saying that it's not grooming, isn't it? Like, that's how I'm reading it. He's saying that context is being twisted. To stand flat-footed, ten toes down, and say you've never done anything wrong in your- Todrick, we're not saying that we haven't done anything wrong. We're saying we haven't groomed children. But I love knowing how much you're defending this. Saying a little bit of something about you, Todrick. Word on the street for a while about you anyway. Word on the street? Is he just making shit up? <sighs> oh my god, what is happening? Summary, after some Nancy during before posting, two of Todrick Hall's former assistants, Dana Davis and Thomas McKissick. Oh my God. I'm trying to read this. I don't have a Reddit account. Okay. So he's had accusations, basically, is what's happened. Are we still connected to the stream? <laughs> I got a pop-up saying OBS crashed. Hopefully we're still all good. All right, anyway. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Would you like for people who are disgruntled by you to be the narrators of your story? Probably not. Because they most likely would leave out the details that would make you look human. Or a uh, grimmer. Predator. And if we're uh, centering this back to uh, 
Jeffrey Dahmer and Hitler again. There's a lot more things that we could call out here. <laughs> this is so badly written. Fuck. Oh, God. If you're going to do a statement like this, defending someone publicly, maybe get someone to proofread it before you put it. Press send. Jesus. All right. Let's read the whole thing, because clearly Adam's not going to do it. People always say they want celebs and influencers to take accountability. She has, and it's not good enough. Yeah, I feel like I feel like people just need to let let it go, like you know, because she honestly understands the context of what she's she was doing. She doesn't believe she's done the wrong thing. Clearly, even though some of her decisions are clearly not great either. Um. She's apologized, but people still want more. We also live in a culture where in the job of celebrity is just to apologize while people get to run around and embellish stories. Yeah, directly calling you out, Adam. <laughs> I agree with that. Um, two of her supposed victims came out with these detailed stories of how horrible she was, only to find out they were straight up lying. Uh, it's effed up. That Johnny Kid posted the things about Trisha, which were, by the way, undoubtedly wrong, but he conveniently didn't know all the things he probably contributed to those conversations because we know gays like us like, like to gossip and do questionable things in their group chats when they feel safe. I've definitely said things to people I thought were friends um, that would not look good if they came out. And if we're being totally honest, we probably all have. Um, that's, again, a sensible statement uh, that makes sense um if you trust someone generally you're not going to say certain things publicly um that you would say to them and if we're all being totally honest we probably all have but you're not famous and no one's scrubbing through your phone and leaking your text dms or using you for clout or talking about the skeletons in your closet because we all have them would you be able to stand flat-footed Ten toes down and say you've never done anything wrong. Would you want to be defined forever by only your worst moments? Would you like for people who are disgruntled by you to be the narrators of your story? Probably not. Because they most likely would leave out any details that would make you look human. <laughs> this part is well written. Because it's directly calling out... Uh, Adam's ethos when it comes to this sort of stuff. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> is this what he's calling? Calls me out. He's saying it's directly calling him out, but he's not being directly called out. So another lie there. Um, unless there's something else that comes up in the video. By by only your worst moments. Would you like people who you are just going, blah, 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 blah. probably not because they most likely would leave out details that would make you look human. Again, I'm not saying she did nothing wrong, but I'm supposed to, but I, if I'm supposed to unfollow her and never post about her again, that's bullshit. And I'm not doing that. A lot of people would, but people are also sheep. And yeah, I'm just not. Whoa. That part was all written. That part was well written because I agree with that. I get, I suppose. <laughs> it was well written because I agree. Um, but it really conveyed where he's at with it. And it's how it should be with any cancellation. At the end of the day, uh, you know, unless it's been established in a court of law that someone is a, a G word, then yeah. I don't know. It's just, yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying she did nothing wrong. But am I supposed to unfollow her and never post about her again? A lot of people would, but people are also sheep and I'm just not. Okay. Chadra <laughs> I love, I want to hear his response. Paul doesn't have that many people defending him these days. Colleen Ballinger doesn't have that many people defending her. These two weirdos need each other. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. I don't care about either of these people. Wow. He's not even going to comment on the last part. <laughs> Todd Call means nothing to me. Colleen Ballinger means nothing to me. Are you sure about that, Adam? Are you sure? <laughs> that didn't mean anything to me. I mean, she just started my career, you know, as a shit talker. <laughs> because I pretended to be a fan of her and then, like, flipped, you know, and betrayed her trust. Yeah, I mean, was, you know. Shout out Johnny and Cody. Hope you're doing well. These just, 
I just think they're losers. I mean, you look at what Colleen Ballinger's doing tonight, and I mean, she's pathetic. Like, she's, she is just a pathetic shell of the woman she pretended to be. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. The clothes are coming out at him. Bit of a bully. Online. And Todd Cole, unemployed, boring. Unemployed? <laughs> Wait. He's unemployed? We need only go on to his... He released an album in 2022, two years ago. Like, he's not going to just release a brand new album after the fact. Look at this shit. Unemployed. <laughs> he's a recording artist. Filmography. He also was in a TV show last year. What even, what even is this? It's a reality TV show. Overwhelmingly negative. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, 2024 burlesque. Is a musical with a book. He's in a musical with Christina Aguilera Sia and Jess Foley. I don't know who she is. Who's Jess Foley? Have no idea who that person is. But <laughs> huge names. He's not working, guys. He's unemployed. <laughs> what? What in the world? Irritating. These people mean nothing to me. God, it feels good to kind of sit here and talk about this and be so level-headed. In summer, I was getting so pissed about Level-headed, you say? Oh. <laughs> what? What? But now I'm just like, y'all are losers. You're losers. Loser, loser. Anyway, I've... I don't know. As someone who is talking about someone with no hope of a response from him, I think he's responded to me once on Twitter. <laughs> when I baited him with the, the voting thing, I think. Do you remember that? I think it was like, he was talking about Trump coming back in and I basically said, why don't you vote for it? <laughs> That's a joke. And he's like, I'm not from America, you stupid, stupid face. Oh, I said something probably a lot more. Um, are brutal than that. And um, yeah, it took the bait. It was f fantastic. So that's my only interaction with him. But the, this is the irony of talking about people where, where you have no hope of them responding to you ever again. Who's the loser, Adam? Y'all are losers. You're losers. Loser, loser. Anyway, I have literally nothing else to add. I think Todrick's a loser. I think Colleen's a loser. I think they're all pathetic. I just, okay. Can't wait to see your next big deal, Todrick. Because I'm sure you're booked and busy. All right, anyone. What? <laughs> He's literally booked and busy. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. I wonder what Jody and Cody are doing these days. Jody and Cody. Johnny and Cody. I need to go to bed. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck me.